G'day gamers, Gob here. Welcome back to Gob's Quickies. Now, those of you who like uh, brewing stands and making lots of potions, you might be clearing out an ocean monument, need the invisibility potions and the water breathing potions. You might be going into never and you're needing lots of fire resistance potions or something like that. Well, you're still going to need never wood. Uh, never wood is a, uh, a principal ingredient for your potion brewing and uh, you grow never wart from stuff you get from the never so I've got here a very simple semi-automatic never wart farm that will keep you in enough never wart to last you a lifetime now just before we start please make sure you hit that sub button okay uh, subscribing to me will let you know when any of my videos come out and let me know that uh, all you fine people are liking what I do so let's get to it right and this is the Neverwart farm okay it's very similar to a normal crop farm except you don't need all the little bit of water around the place for the hydration and it turns it out all you have to do is click a button and all your goody never wart runs down, collected here, and goes in your chest. Hit the button, it turns off, and you can just come in here and replant. There you go, good to go, ready for the next time. So let's go build it. Now to build this, you are going to need an area 9 by 14 okay uh, that's including all the nice little skirting around the side if you're just going to make the basic farm itself you just need seven uh, by about ten I think it is what do you need you're going to need a couple of chests six dispensers now they need to be dispensers not droppers you need a button Enough never wart to get your farm started, but you know what? You could do it with one piece, really, if you if you wanted to. A redstone torch, uh, five buckets of water. Sorry, that's five dispensers we need. Um, five hoppers, uh, about a just to be safe, a stack of redstone dust, a repeater, uh, about forty odd uh, bits of soul sand, not soul soil. And some construction blocks, okay? And to make this one, I've used uh, never brick stairs, uh, never bricks, never brick fences, never brick slabs. I've got some crimson trapdoors and some soul lanterns. So let's get all of that. Okay, so to build it, I want you to come in three from the end. One, two, three. And this is where we're going to place our chest, two right now we can pretty it up by hiding the dirt underneath from this one here I want you to get your five hoppers and one two three four five and all those hoppers should be flowing into each other and into the chest okay you can tell that by the way the nozzles are facing then we want to get our soul sand. We want to go eight this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And across five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we just fill it in. What I want you to do now with your building blocks is just go around the side of the build. Now here, just do two layers at the back. And you should have something that looks like that. Now go to the back of the build. And along the, uh, the construction blocks that you've placed at the rear of your soul sand, I want you to place a dispenser facing towards your farm so the little nozzle faces outwards. Next to the dispensers place down a construction block 
and then along the line of uh, construction blocks that you've got next to your farm just place down a fence now you could use blocks if you want to here but I think the fence looks nice now the only issue with using a fence is some of your um, uh, never wart that you uh, wash down with the water will get stuck on the sides and you won't get that if you've got a block but you know what if you're running in here to plant it anyway it it's not a biggie okay so just bring your fence all the way down like that now what we're going to do is put in the redstone to activate the water okay so what I want you to do is from this one here just dig down three so one two three and just take out the blocks underneath this one okay so here we're level with the chest and the the side wall blocks okay and then just go your uh, eight or nine this way one and okay and we want to just come up here and there you go that's the corner block okay and we'll just go back out and we'll just confirm where we are because what we want to do is be underneath this one okay so this is where we need to be what I want you to do now is underneath this block and remove that block and place one there underneath so you've got a uh, an empty block in between okay I want you to place a redstone torch just there on that one down here and what we want from here is we want just clear this so we've got something to work with we want a line of bricks going that way we want a repeater going into the block which is holding the redstone torch and then we're just going to go along here I'm just going to drop it down one so we can actually move We're going to place our redstone dust okay and this is where we've got to get to this one here okay so at the moment these are the blocks underneath here okay we want to get to this one but we can't destroy those because our chest is sitting on it so that's why we've come down one more okay so keep on coming along here and that's where we're going to put a button. Okay, so we come along here, up one, bit of dust there so it connects with that one, a block over top, and a button just there. And now we come to our dispensers, and along the top of the dispensers, including this block here, we'll run a line of redstone dust. We now put in each of the dispensers. A bucket of water and now when we press this button our dispensers should fire and there you go all the way down to our hoppers we can turn it off like that ready for us to go and plant our never wood and we actually might just go and do that now There you go, our farm is now functional, but it's not really that pretty. So what we'll do now is we'll just go around the edges and we'll cap it off, okay? So along here, I want you to get some never brick stairs. We'll just go along there like that. This will hide our redstone torch. All the way along the back, along the other side. And the front like that what we'll do now is we're just going to hide our dispensers we'll just place another brick there another brick there 
And then with our stairs, we can come along here like this. And we'll place down a, a fence there, and a fence there, and another fence there. And then with our slabs, we'll just come across the front over top of our dispensers. Like that. And just so it doesn't look too odd, we'll place another fence there and give it a, another row. Like that. And at the back here, just to um, close it up a little bit, we'll just whack in some crimson trapdoors. Whoops, a daisy. Just there. Just like that. Gives a backing to our build. And over this end, we'll just go up one more. Just over our area of our hoppers. Just place down our bricks, our slabs, I should say, and we'll just cover our area of our hoppers. Now, if you wanted to, you could probably put a cover over the entire thing. Uh, these are bottom slabs, so it's not a, uh, a biggie, and it stops any spawns. Right, so we've got something that looks like that. And no build is right without a little bit of lighting. So I'll just put a light there, a light there, and the same on the other side. And there you go. Not too bad at all. One semi automatic never wart farm. So there you have it. One very simple crop farm for your never wart. Very similar to what you'd have for your potatoes or your or your carrots or your wheat or anything like that. And it uses the same principles. So it should be very easy for you to set up. If you liked the video, uh, please give it a like. Don't forget to comment uh, on it. Let me know what you liked or how you've improved it or anything like that. And uh, you know what? If you haven't already subbed, please do it. It uh, really does encourage me and... Uh, uh, gives me incentive to keep going on this mad, mad, mad Minecraft journey. But that's all I got time for today. Until next time, hooroo!